In the midst of the Great Depression, the federal government would devise a policy plan to develop the first all-black low-income housing structure in New Orleans. This plan will come to life in 1941 and be known as the C.J. Pete Housing Project. In 1955, the project was expanded, incorporating six more city blocks, creating what was to be known as the Old Side, New Side. 2001 brought on the start of demolishing the C.J. Pete projects. This structure would birth some of the most notorious gangsters in New Orleans history, one of them being John Bryant, a.k.a. Mosquito of the infamous street crew, The Hot Boys. John and Terrence would be childhood friends who came up together in the N.O. Terrence would catch a juvenile jail bid where he would be given the name Lil Gangster by Killer Stone. John would be given the name Mosquito because of his tiny, slim stature. In 1994, a failed robbery attempt would lead to one of Gangster's partners shooting someone in the leg. After hearing about this shooting, Sterling would come looking for Gangster and Mosquito. Packing 22 caliber pistols, Gangster and Mosquito would not back down from Sterling. Earning each other respect, it wouldn't be long before they would start hanging together, pulling off acts. Stephen Anthony Joseph, a.k.a. Dooney, would join the three. Known for giving street dudes nickname in the Magnolia, the Magnolia Hoes would coin the phrase Hot Boys. The tandem would adopt the name and the rest would be history. Giggly would be the flamboyant one of the crew, going hard with the newfound nickname. He would darn hot boy clothing, jewelry, and tattoo. The crew would soon be neighborhood celebrities known for jacking, kidnapping, crushing, and hustling. One of Mosquito's flaws would be his addiction. Mosquito's addiction would lead to poor decision making and even a fallout with Terrence Gangsta Williams. Mosquito was out the milieu but was known for pumping that 11.5 on Philip and C. Gangsta and Blabber will mainly pump on Willow. Mosquito will pull off acts in his own project and in other hoods. The acts that he will pull off in the Noya will be from outsiders trying to cop. All of the young cats out of the project looked up to Mosquito. They had all heard the stories and wanted to be a hot boy like Gangsta, Sterling, Mosquito, and Dooney. Although the hot boy clique were tight for the most part, you will find Dooney with Sterling and Gangsta with Mosquito. Mosquito's baby mom lived in the Ville. Although he wasn't from back there, he would establish his presence. It is rumored that the D-Boys out the Ville weren't happy with Mosquito's presence. They all knew that he was a live wire that could pull off an act at any time. All of the hot boys were about the shits. What separated Terrence Gangster Williams was that he didn't smoke, get high, or drink. These qualities would make him a very dangerous man. Unfortunate turns of events would take place. Dooney would catch a jose and Sterling would lose his life. Mosquito would catch a gun case the day of Sterling's funeral. Running out the side door, he would be apprehended by NOPD. As face would have it, Mosquito was accidentally set free after going to traffic court. Mosquito would now be on the run. Right on the street was that gangster and Mosquito had crushed a hitter out the yo. Ignoring what was buzzing in the streets and no longer able to hang out in the New York or hustle on Philip and C, Mosquito would find refuge in the CP3 Calio Housing Project. A cross would be drawn. Steppers out the CP3 would strike, gunning Mosquito down, hitting him 20 times. When Terry Gangster Williams would get the news, he would call the payphone in the yo. Junkie G will be ran on Giggity when he called. Curious about the games that were being played over the phone, Gangster will go to the yo. Giggity will find that Mosquito had been, in fact, deleted. This will spark the beef between the yo and the Noya, which will get hot and heated.
This turn of events will leave Gangsta and Dooney as the last two surviving members of the Hot Boys. It wouldn't be long before Giggity would catch a life sentence. Terrence Gangsta William will be picked up after the feds intercepted the cell phone conversation of Giggity plotting to crush the New York Connect and take the work. Stephen Anthony Joseph, a.k.a. Dooney, would soon be released from prison and start pumping that dog food again in the Noya. Dooney would devise a plan to distribute work to all of the young have-nots in the project. This team of have-nots will be given the name, the DBs, a.k.a. the Dooney Boys, by the Magnolia Hoes. However, the Dooney Boys run wouldn't last long. Dooney will be hit and pass due to internal bleeding. It is alleged that one of the young hustlers out of the Noya would be the Trigger Man. The Dooney Boys will go on to be young hitters, some catching bids, some being deceased. The legend of Magnolia, the Hot Boys, and the Dooney Boys would live on with the release of Terrence Gangs the Williams. Upon his release, Giggity will recant stories from the past and inspire videos like the one you just watched. The Magnolia has since then been demolished and is now formerly known as Harmony Oaks, a mixed income community. <laughs> 